Hey guys, welcome back. So the people who are not familiar with this project, I really suggest them to go back and check out my earlier video on the same project. So this is a newer version of it. So you might not understand it that well. Uh, what's different about the safe is that it sends you an email giving you a random number every time it mails you. So you have to just grab that number and enter it in the safe to open it up. So there have been updates, some are major, some are minor. So the only major update is what I call the safe cloud. So the safe cloud is simply the Raspberry Pi running the web server on which you can go upload files. It also has a login page so that it's secured. Next, what it does is that it grabs all those files and puts it all into a pen drive that you can see on the screen right there. So if you click A on the keypad, it goes and sends me a mail on my Gmail ID giving me the number. And if you click hashtag, it enters the number that you just typed in. So let's test it out. So as I said, click A to send the mail. And for sure, I must have received the mail by now. So I'll grab my phone, open it up, check my Gmail inbox. Uh, and there you go. You can see it says enter the number to open the safe 4846. So you can see clearly, yeah. So I'll zoom in so that you can see it clearly, whatever I'm typing in. And I'll just show you, as I said, 4, 8, four six and I'll turn it around so that you can see the lock opening so as I said first of all I'll zoom out yep that, that, that's look, looking better so as I said if you click hashtag it just pops up and you can see it's a little bit tweaky but it's fine so there's there was the Arduino Mega that was sitting inside hiding in and there's one more thing in 20 seconds, it locks itself back. So that's happening in three, two, one, and there you go. It locks itself. Seems pretty cool, huh? And after that, you can see that it said your safe is open. That was sent when it was actually open. So for the safe cloud. So I've got the pen drive. So I'll show you that I'm not cheating. Uh, I've got the pen drive, and there's I can open it up. There's nothing, literally nothing inside it. So I'll eject that and put it back into my safe cloud. That's what I call it. Running the web server. And the only problem is that I have to go and mount it for the first time. But I'll make sure that works better until the next update. So as I said, I'll grab my phone as it's a web server. What I can do is go to Chrome, open up Chrome and in the url i'll type in my pi's ip address and as it's running a server it shows me the page i made so for the username it's dan that's my name and the password is hello i thought i'll keep it simple so that's the upload page where you can choose a file upload it and also look out so i'll go choose a file from my documents and i've got a wallpaper of justin mallow he really makes them good so I'll hit on upload. So that says last file uploaded, Justin Maller wallpaper.jpg. So that worked out well. Let's see if it just really happened. So I'll pull it out and I'll put it back into my laptop so that we can view the image. And it might take a while. Yeah. And as you can see, it's exactly the same file that I have. So I didn't do any tinkering as you can see the video was taken in one shot. So that's the uh, photograph in the phone and on the laptop from the pen drive. Hey guys, I'm Dasha and I'm the creator of Spaces. So it took a lot of hard work to finish it up about two months. So it all pays off at the end. So hope you guys enjoyed it and I'd be happy if you'd appreciate that hard work by clicking the subscribe button. And I'll link down the earlier version of the same project so that you can see how it looked back two months ago. And I'm looking forward to start a tutorial series on PHP and Python. And I really suggest you to go check out Lucy. Uh, it's my other project. It's an AI type of, not literally, but it's good enough. So that's all for now. Talk to you guys in the next one.